everyone and welcome to TWF NXT. I am Gene Okalin here with Trini Kwan and Wade Barrett and today on NXT we're going to have Jesus the Christ. Well I want to welcome everyone you know to uh, NXT and I know that we're in the beginning of the 12 days of Yule leading up to my birthday which is Yule and I just want to say that I'm truly happy that that my birthday is coming up and that we all know why we're doing Yule now some of you folks out there might think well Jesus you might say how can we do Yule? You know, how do you do Yule right? Well, you be there for your friends, be there for your kin, be there for your neighbors, and be there for folks you don't know. And love others the way I have loved you. And if you do all that, then have a talk with me, tell me how your day is, and just let me tell you how happy I am of you all. How glad I am of you all and the gifts oh no God no Gene Oakland says just what we didn't want it's John Mortis and the Miz well Jesus you have it kind of bad but don't get us wrong Jesus you don't all have it all bad you know you still got Yul even though Santa does all the heavy lifting for Yul the Miz says if you think of it Jesus what do you really do on your birthday anyway since at the end of the day Santa does all the heavy lifting for you you know you know Yeah, I was the only one to know, John Mortison says. What do you actually do on Yule if Jesus Santa does all the heavy lifting? First off, if you're saying that Santa took Yule away from me, took my birthday away from me, you would be wrong. Santa does what some would call, he is the heavenly gift giver. He is the one who brings the goodness and the happiness and the loving of God my father and myself every year to others he brings happiness to those the same way that I he brings to happiness and glee the same way I was brought to earth 2,000 years ago as a gift to all mankind and womankind God gave you all gave me to you all as a gift the same way that I got gifts on my birthday by the wise men who came to see me that 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 morning the same way that Santa gives out those gifts and he's not doing it out of himself he's doing it sense of God and sense of me so at the end of the day he gives out those gifts the same way I got gifts on my birthday the same way that God gave me as a gift to all of you but the way I look at it, the Miz says, Jesus, you don't really have too much things to do in Yule, don't you? I mean, when you think of it, Jesus, who has all the farseer shows? Who has all the plays? Who has all the films? Who's got all, who's got all the talking? Who does everyone talk about this time of year? You know? Uh, Santa Claus, Holy Fellow Nicholas, Father Yule, that's right, John Mortison. And you don't even get to be in the Thanksgiving Day uh, walk, do you? Right, so if I was you, Jesus, I would be truly irked and mad at Santa for taking your birthday away from you. See, 
Wham. Are you, uh, first off, Santa did not take my birthday or you away from me. And three, I forgive you, John Morrison and Miz, for behaving like creeps. All right, you make you starting shit with Jesus is over, Aladdin says. It's done, Jasmine says. Truly done. The way I look at it is you need to be going, Jeannie says. You started your shit with Jesus, and it's done. Well, Aladdin, Jasmine, Jeannie, thank you for coming to help me. I have this fine, under-running lead, Jesus says. I forgive John Mortison and Miz for all those mean things they have said about me, what they said about Jesus, what they suddenly said about Santa taking my birthday, taking you away from me. I forgive them for it. And I need to be going now because I think there's going to be a fight. And I am don't really like fighting or wrestling. Well, well, there goes Jesus the Jesus the healer or Jesus the freer. Gene Oakland said, "Yeah, there he goes." Trini Kwan says, "And you can't believe John Morrison and Miz wanted to start shit between with Santa and Jesus again." Gene Oakland says, "Shame on them. Definitely shame on them." Trini Kwan said, "For doing all that shit they were doing." And now Diva Talks has to come in now, and she has to start something. All right. Ah! I wish I didn't have to have anyone hold me up. But here's the way I here's the way I'm looking at it. Diva Talk says. You see, it could be smooth enough for me, but. I'm not really a big fan of Aladdin and Jasmine and Jeannie, but they haven't put their winnings on the line. And John Morrison made you two want to fight Aladdin and Jasmine, right? Well, here's the way I look at it, Diva Talk says. You will get that fight today on NXT. Aladdin and Jasmine, you will fight John Morrison and the Miz. Without your Jeannie, without your wish, wish, wish making ghost or whatever you want to call yourself so get going uh, Diva Talk says yeah get going yeah you need to be going yeah you big blue dummy alright yeah yeah I'll go Jeannie says I know Aladdin and Jasmine they can take care of these creeps Well, I can't believe that, uh, yeah, Diva Talk said, that's done. Yeah, we took care of that blue creep. Yeah, Jeannie, you're dumb. You're dumb. You need to be going. Yeah. Shut up, Elgar. I know what I said. Let's get the fight lord in here. Or some fight overseer. Did we dig him out? No, I guess not. Oh, there he is, Wade Barrett said. So they did dig him out. Well, Wade Barrett says, now we're going to see if Aladdin and Jasmine can actually hold on to the TWF team winnings that they won from John Morrison and Miz not too long ago. Well, this is for the T. This is... You know, you know, this is for the TWF team winnings. First off, they are the Darers, John Morrison and the Miz, and they are the TWF team winners, Aladdin and Jasmine. Deaning. Well, I'll tell you what, John Morris. I'll tell you right now, Wade Barrett said, that's a that's Aladdin from the Disney film Aladdin, the live film. You know. He does Monday Night Raw and he also does Main Event. And now John Mortison right now, 
he, you know, the Miz is going to beat Aladdin. You know, Miz knows how to beat Aladdin. Aladdin can't win any fights without Genie, Wade Barrett said. Would you stop saying that, Trini Kwan said. Aladdin has won many fights, you know. And right now, a body slam. And a... And in our body slam, Gene Oakland said, Aladdin has beat many foes over the years. You know, sometimes with Genie's help, sometimes without Genie's help. Oh, and the Miz thinks that he's doing the Miz kicks uh, to, to Aladdin right now. Those are the Miz kicks. The Miz fostered those kicks from, from Daniel Bryan, which we all know Trini Kwan says where he got them from. Hey, Daniel Bryan Foster those from him. And now the Miz coming in again. Aladdin picking him up and body slam. Oh, and Aladdin just body slammed, this body slammed it down the Miz. And we don't know if Jafar Tagin is going to help the Miz and John Mortison. Well, he did say that he was going to help them way back last month. Oh! Down goes John Mortison. I didn't come from the Glassport Frifton middle. And now Aladdin just tagged in Jasmine now. You know? And uh, Jasmine right now. Body slamming John Mortison. And another body slam, Gene Oakland said. Followed by a drop kick. And yes, it is true, Gene Oakland said that, that John Mortison did come from the Glassport Frith mid middle. Yeah, you can tell that. Oh, a body slam again. John Mortison has to do with, oh, he just took down Jasmine. Uh, Gene Oakland said, Trini Kwan said, how is Jasmine going to get herself out of this bind? I did this hang up she's in now. I had this handicap. I don't know, Wade Barrett said. Here comes Starship 8. Starship 8 on Jasmine. And another tag in. And here comes the Miz. I don't know, Gene Oakland said, how she's going to get out of it. Skull crushing finale. Oh, that's shameful. You got to like the Miz and what he does, Wade Barrett said. You got to like this guy. You know, all the cool things he's going to do. The busy effing man, show player, wrestler. You know, he's done it all. One. Yeah. He's done it all. One, two. Oh. And Aladdin had to be a jerk and break up the free track. Wade Barrett said. Aladdin is no, is no creep. Trini Kwan said. The only creep in the ring I see right now is the Miz. Well, and... Right now, Aladdin just once again, you know, brought Aladdin, uh, Jasmine brought back in Aladdin. And Aladdin coming in and body slam. Aladdin down. Oh! Down one, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winners. And still the TWF team winners. Aladdin and Jasmine. Well, Aladdin and Jasmine are the TWF team winners still here in the TWF. They beat John Morrison and Miz here on NXT, Gene Oakland says. Yes, they did, Trini Kwan said. Good job for Aladdin. Good work to for good work, Aladdin and Jasmine, for being John Morrison and Miz. And there was no Jafar in this fight or in this match. I don't know, Wade Barrett said. Maybe Jafar, being a follower of the Wanted Bonds of Evil, he'll never keep his word, never keep his oath. And John Morrison and Miz need have a talk with Jafar, because he said he had their back, Wade Barrett said. And I guess he didn't have their back. No. Well, I guess not.
Well, I do know one thing Gene Oakland says here on NXT. I do know that we're also going to hear from the Velveteen Dream. Ronda Rousey called him out yesterday on Impact. I was there. I talked with Ronda Rousey, the new TWF Allegheny Earldom winner, when she called out Velveteen Dream. Yeah, Trini Kwan said Velveteen Dream struck her from behind last week. And he's one of Diva Talks' followers, underlings, worshippers. I don't know what you want to say. You want to say, Trini Kwan said, hirelings. Wade Barrett said, that's what he is, a worker, a hireling. I don't know where you're getting underling and follower and worshipper from, Wade Barrett said. They're not following her. They're not worshipping her. They're working for her. They're her hirelings, Wade Barrett says. Well, that might be true, Gene Oakland said. But Velveteen Dream, you know, is Jim Ross is going to be in the ring now talking with Velveteen Dream. Ladies and lords, my guest that I speak with right now is the Velveteen Dream. Yeah, I know we can't have my true song of ownership grounds. All right, Velveteen Dream. I knew you way back in 25th between YL when you were on WVE's Tough Enough when it was on USA. You've been in WVE for a number of, for many years on NXT, never went to Raw or SmackDown yet, or NXT UK or 205 Live yet, but I do think that you would be good in either, let me guess Jim Ross, I'd be good in IW, right? I'd be good in AEW. Well, Jim Ross, I hate to break it up to you, but your dream's over. The dream of the Velveteen Dream going to IW and being on impact and explosion will never happen. The Velveteen Dream going to AEW and being on Dynamite and Dark will never happen. The Velveteen Dream is in WWE and he's on NXT. He will be on NXT UK or 205 Live or Raw or SmackDown one day. But we're not talking about that. Ronda Rousey, former USC Women's Heavyweight winner, former WWE Raw Women's Heavyweight winner, former UFC fighter, now WWE wrestler. Your dream is over, the Velveteen Dream says. Dream over for you. I struck you from behind, Ronda Rousey. And what did you do? You did nothing. You scathed the dream. You badmouthed the dream. But at the end of the day, you did nothing. So the way the dream looks at it is the dream knows that if you just happen to not want to look for him, the dream will have to go look for you. thing Velveteen Dream before I go what is the bond between you and Diva Talks we know that Diva Talks has been built has been making a team of underlings or hirelings or worshippers or followers whatever they are I don't know including Pete Dung you Kurt Hawkins you know and Elias Sampson well, let's just say that I learned a long time ago, it's greater to be with someone than fighting them. And the way I look at it, Jim Ross, that's between Diva Talks and me. So, 
Did I just go for all that hard work not even to bring her out? Fuck! Guess so. I did. It's on where I put her. So, forgive me, Jim Ross, but I gotta go now. And the Velveteen Dream is out of the ring now. And, oh, Ronda Rousey got him. She just hip tossed it down the Velveteen Dream. She was about to put him in her arm bar. He got out of the ring. So Ronda Rousey was there. And all the shit the Velveteen Dream said about her. Now he has to eat his words. Well. Well, it looks like before we go... We are going to, before we leave NXT today, we are going to have a following of the Flyer Fly Funhouse. Want to say thanks to Jim Ross for talking with the Velveteen Dream here on NXT. That is truly sad, Wade Barrett says, that Ronda Rousey would strike the Velveteen Dream like that. That is truly sad. And they need to be ashamed of him, of him, of herself for doing that to the Velveteen Dream. Wade Barrett said, yeah, I truly believe at the end of the day, that was a shameful thing. Wade Barrett said, how shameful is it, Trini Kwan said, the Velveteen Dream is the one that should be ashamed of himself. What well, he did at Ronda Rousey. We're so happy, Trini Kwan says, he should be ashamed of himself. Well, you're right, Gene Oakland said. Valdrian should be ashamed of himself. And now we're going to get ready for the Firefly Files. We're so happy that we're friends. And this is a friendship that will never, ever end. Welcome to the Firefly Funhouse. And you know today is going in. Soon will be Yule. Jesus' birthday. Yeah. Now, we all know that Randy Orton has been a bad boy for eight between years in WWE and those two years in OVW. Yes, he has, Way He has, Bray. He's been a bad boy for a long time. But Randy, when you burned the house down, that went from being a bad boy to a sinner. And we all know that Jesus came to this earth to free us from sin. But Randy Orton, the fiend, didn't come here to save you, to help you or free you from sin. He came to make you wish that you never sinned on me, Bray Wyatt says. That's right, Alexa Bliss said. The fiend, Bray Wyatt, the fiend shifted. He's not the evil fiend anymore. But if you think he's going to be so forgiving for what you did to Bray back in 27 between YL, well, you got to think again. All you got to do, Randy Orton, is let him in. And then the fun will happen. Yeah, but anyway, bye! We're so happy that we're friends. And this is a friendship that will never, ever end. Let me in. Well, it looks like it's all the time we got here for NX, for uh, TWF NXT. I am Gene Oakland for Trini Kwan and Wade Barrett. We hope you like NXT, and we'll see you tomorrow.